over you on today. Sister Katrina, praise God, give me Acts 5. Praise God, Acts 5. We're going to look at, we're going to walk today. Acts 5 and Acts 10. Glory to God. We're going to look through the book of Acts because I want to show you today, praise God, you need some power. Glory to God, to live in this hour. You need power, glory to God. Glory to God, to begin to pull off some things. When the Holy Ghost comes in your life, it's just like a burning fire. It's just like fire. Now, now, can you imagine, praise God, somebody, glory to God, glory to God, put fire on top of your head. You're not going to stand still. Amen. Glory to God, when fire, glory to God, when fire fall upon you, praise God. Amen. Glory to God, you're going to begin to, glory to God, take some stuff out. That's what the Holy Ghost does for us. It's, glory to God, he gives us the fire, glory to God, that purge and fire that want to clean us. So we need to be clean on the inside. Amen. Acts chapter 8, verse number 5. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. You got to have it in this hour. Glory to God. I just want to say, praise God, if Jesus cracked the sky right now, just go with me in your mind. When you begin to look at the sky, if Jesus was to crack the sky wide open, and I want to tell you, young people, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is your identifier. When Jesus looked at you, he said, oh, yeah, she got my spirit. Yeah. That's mine right there. Amen. She belongs to me. And I'm going to show you through the word of God how you are filled with the Holy Ghost. Let's Amen. read Acts chapter 5, 8 and 5. Philip the deacon, not the apostle, went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ, the Messiah, to them, the people. And great crowds of people with one accord listened to and heeded what was said by Philip as they heard him and watched the miracles and wonders which he kept performing Read. from time to time. Read. For foul spirits came out of many okay. who were possessed See, by them. This man had the Holy Ghost. And as he began to move, as God began to use him, praise God, foul spirits. Let me tell you something. We're in an hour, glory to God. Now there's more demons in the house of God than it is outside. Glory to God. We ever need a move of God. We need it in the church. Glory to God. We're messed up. Glory to God from the inside out. And God told me to tell this people, praise God, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Praise God. Read, woman of God. Foul spirits came out of many who were possessed by them, yes. screaming and shouting with a loud voice. And many who were suffering from palsy or were crippled were restored to health. See, glory to God, deliverance and healing always took place. Glory to God, the reason why we're not experienced, praise God, more miracles in the body of Christ. Glory to God, more deliverance because, glory to God, every time a demon was cast out, praise God, healing accompanied that. Yes, Lord. Praise God, glory to God, it would do you no good if you're crippled and still got a demon. Come on, God. You need to be delivered from that demon, and glory to God, and automatically there was a healing that came for your people. Yes, God. Praise God. Glory to God. I want you to read the part how there was great joy in that city. And there was great rejoicing in that city. The reason why, praise God, because the people begin to see all the miracles. Praise God. And God began to tell me, praise God. He said, I'm going to bring the miracles back to the house of God. He said, I'm going to restore the church like never before. I'm going to restore the power and the authority. Glory to God. When God look at the church, it don't look like the church that he died for. When God look at the church, glory to God, we don't see miracles. We don't see demons coming out of folks. My praise God. I went God. to a young lady's house. Praise God. Brother Tim is a witness of this. My son is back. Went to a young lady's house. Praise God. Had been dealing in witchcraft. And the moment I walked in her house, she began to back up and hiss. Glory to God. She began to cry. Out, praise God. And demon began to cry out. Glory to God. Through the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. I hands on her and cast that devil out of her. Praise God. We're living in a time now that we got more people going to that demon possessed. We hear you never. When I was coming up, you never heard of no schizophrenia. I never heard no Bible. Oh, it's a demon. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And it's going to take power of the Holy Ghost yes. to cast that spirit out. And glory to God, proclaim the people of God heal and hold, glory to God, through Thank the you. power of the Holy Ghost. Look at Acts Jesus. chapter 8 and 1. But now Acts chapter 1, verse number 8. Why do I need the power of the Holy Ghost? It's a promise to you. Read. 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 But he shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Now, now, I know, praise God, it's not a popular subject, but God told me to tell the people, uh -huh. you need the Holy Ghost. That's why. So, that's glory to God, he began to say in Acts 1 and 8, praise God, he said, you shall receive dynamite. So, when we look at the word power in the Greek, it means dynamite. Glory to God, it's hard for me to light a stick of dynamite and expect this room to be the same. So come on, now, come dynamite on. dynamite in your life. Whatever is quicker in your life, God say, I'll make it straight. Yes. You cannot fix yourself. You cannot stop doing whatever you're doing. You cannot do it on your own. You need 
the power of the Holy Ghost. So now he began to tell his disciples, he said, you shall receive power. Uh, as I came and live on the inside of you. Yeah, yeah. And not only that, a reason why you need the Holy Ghost, you need to be a witness. I yeah. need to be a witness, glory to God. There's three levels it takes for you to be a witness. You have to be able to be there, to be able to tell what you saw. That's and right, that's right, that's right. Witness. He said, no, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Glory to God. He said, I will make you witness for me. Glory to God, glory to God. Our families ought to be saved according to our life. Why? Because we got the Holy Ghost. We can witness to them. Yes. Glory to God. I can tell you how good God is. Yes. I can tell you, woman to God, he'll keep you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. I've been yes. separated for two years. Glory to God. Now the voice. Glory to God. No man has touched me. He is a keeper. Yes. If you yes. want to be kept. Yes. The Holy yes. Ghost will keep you. The Holy Ghost will make you love your enemy. Yes, it will. Those same people that, glory to God, did me wrong, Brother Darrell. I'm on my face crying for them. The Holy yeah. Ghost, pray, God. Quickly give me Luke 3 and 11. Praise God. I know I'm moving fast, but I got right. to tell you, praise God, why you need the power of the Holy Ghost. You got to have it. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 3, and I want you to hold that where you are, woman of God. He said, he answered, read three, Luke 3 and 11. He answered and said unto them, he that had two coats, let him impart to him that had none, and he that had meat, let him do likewise. Read. Then came also publicans to be baptized, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? Yes. And he said unto them, Exact no more than which was appointed unto you. Okay. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, woman of God, read for me. Acts chapter 2. And when the day of Pentecost had fully come, yes. they were all assembled together in one place. Okay, now, now just, just imagine. Just imagine that day oh. is this day. All right. Just imagine, praise God, you got your mind so that nothing else matters. Just imagine, praise God, you in a place that, glory to God, they had been in prayer for 10 straight days. Okay. That's why I, I'm teaching the people, praise God, you got to have a prayer life away from this building. Yes. Glory to God, when you get home, praise God, pray. Glory, when you're on your job, pray. When you're in the car, pray. You got to have a prayer life. Glory to God. So the atmosphere was saturated with prayer. Yes. Glory to God. The people were waiting on God. How yes. many people can you say in your spirit? How many people are going to be real with me today? Say, yeah, I'm desperate for God. Yes. Oh, God I'm sick and tired of coming to church feeling the same old thing, saying the same old thing, hearing the same old song. God's so desperate for God. So now we see, glory to God, the people were desperate for God. Glory to God. And one thing about it, when you get to a place that you know what, that nothing else matters, that I'm desperate for God. Yes. It's the atmosphere, you got to be able to set the right atmosphere. Yes. That's why, glory to God, we begin to praise God. Yes. That's why we begin to worship God. Even glory to God, when you begin to wave your hands, let me tell you, as you wave your hands, you're summoning angels. Angels recognize your hand wave. Every, girl, every hand wave means something. Yes. Glory to God, you begin to survive God. You begin to love on Him. They begin to set the atmosphere. Oh, glory to God. They need God, something. God, God. Glory to God, that was a promise that God said, you know what, wait a minute. I got a promise for you, baby. It's more than what you got. Glory to God. It'll be more than what you ever need. Yeah. He said, glory to God. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, there was in one place on one accord and every word. Yeah. Glory to God. You weren't looking at me like I wish she'd be quiet. Glory to God. But they were so desperate for God. They were saying, God, God move. We got to get to a place in God. Yeah. When we leave our house, we leave God move. I two thirty this morning, I was on my face. And I was saying, God move. God said, Acts chapter 19. And me, I said, yes, Lord. He said, the people need the real Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to the God. Holy Ghost will really make you live right. Yes. Praise God. When suddenly there came a sound from heaven. There was a sudden sound. Can you imagine as we begin to praise God? That's why it's so important that you come with your mind. Glory to God to praise God. You come, glory to God, ready for a move. Glory to God, you come with a mindset, glory to God. In the way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Glory to God, you come say, Lord, bless the pastor. Lord, 